Alrighty folks, welcome back to Idiots in Cars, aka class time, for me to help you be a better driver so that you don't accidentally hit me on the road at some point and make me very sad. All aboard. Mmm, has to do with a train. You see, here's what you don't do when the crossing things are coming down on the train tracks. You do not continue across. Instead, you wait behind them, like a smart boy, and don't let yourself be stuck on the train tracks because that doesn't generally go very well. Okay, are they, wait, so their car is on the tracks and now they're like dilly-dallying around being like, what should we do while standing on the train tracks? Okay. And now um, this person who has the dash cam is like, please let me get out of here because I don't want my car to be collateral damage. Wait, oh, we had um, simultaneous idiots. The person with the dash cam was also stopped in front of the crossing guard. I was really wondering where the crossing guard was on the side of the dash cam car. How did you guys both do this at the same time? How did two people manage to get stuck on the track simultaneously? I've gone through my whole life never seeing this happen to anyone, and here we have a video with two. Idiot Rex, day old Performante trying to show off. Oh, poor Lamborghini. I think I've seen this one on Instagram. I think it happened a little bit longer than 21 days ago, but yeah, he's gonna he's gonna lose traction and then do the classic swerve to one side, correct swerve to the other, and hit tree. You see, here's the thing. I don't know if he turned off traction control or not, but my advice to you is on public roads, there's really no reason to ever turn off traction control. If you're on a closed course and you wanna lose some traction and you are totally wide and it's a closed area, by all means, go ahead, learn to drift if you're on a racetrack and that's okay. If you're on a public road though, don't turn off traction control. And even if traction control is on, it doesn't always save you every single time, okay? You have to ease into the throttle. If you just go pedal to the metal instantaneously, there's a very good chance that you are gonna end up doing the little side swivel that can end in this. When turning left, look left, right, then left again. Uh, okay. Seems like we're, seems like we're good here. No issues so far. Oh, oh, oh. That was pretty solid though, dude. That was some solid accident avoidance. Good job, dude. Wow. Impressive stuff. Good on this person for still being able to avoid it and getting lucky enough that there was no car coming in the other direction. Be rude not to share this here. The all new wrangle. I'm going to heck for this. It really is just an authoritative pose there at the end of that video. Just... It, not a scratch on it after that. Just shoves the other car out of the way. I'm the only one in the frame now. This video not sponsored by Jeep. Wait for it. All right, are we, we're doing a little, little bit of show off maneuvers inside of a, a parking lot. Oh, it's low. It's not gonna make the speed bump. There's a speed bump, right? We're about to hit a speed bump. We're about to hit a speed bump. Where's the speed bump? Oh, yep, hold on. Oh. You know, respectable maneuver going around the speed bump, but... <laughs> Can't. <laughs> there's another one, I bet. Uh, there's got. There's bound to be another speed bump here at some point. I can't tell if the idiot thing is that people won't, like, let him back in, or if the, he's, about to, he's about to rip off the underside of his car here. Wait, have they got the planks? They've got the planks in the trunk. They have the planks in the trunk, right? This is gonna be amazing. Yes, they have the planks in the trunk. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh God, okay. Yep, first step is try to avoid. Did that the first time around. Next next up, how are you, how are you gonna do this to your car and not at least have airbags that are adjustable? I'm sorry, but you, <laughs> You, dude, you need bigger, you need bigger planks than that. That's not gonna, that's not gonna work. You've barely, you've barely made any difference to the speed bump here and there's nothing that they're mounted on. Oh my God, it's still scraping anyway. You guys need a better system than this. You need something that like goes all the way over the speed bump and creates a, a gradual V 
like in LA, you could not do that. You wouldn't, you would not exist. You would lose the entire underside of your car on normal roads. Forget about speed bumps. Like there are just imperfections in roads that would remove the underside of your car. Uh, dick measuring contest gone wrong. Uh, little domino effect here, it looks like. I can't really tell what's going on. Oh, whoopsie daisies. There was a bit of a domino effect. That's unfortunate. How many cars hit each other here? I've, I've never really understood the whole showing off thing, exiting a cars and coffee event, because it it's generally you get a few hundred feet until the next light, because that's usually cars and coffees are held within proximity of intersections. We've seen this dog before and it's so cute. Let's see it again. <laughs> it makes me happy. My only form of transportation for two years has been a motorcycle. Anticipation is how you stay safe. Genius is the tag here. Oh boy. You gotta, you gotta just know when someone's about to be a dum-dum, right? Like, mm, they look like they're about to poke out into the intersection and not be aware. Oh, oh, he's... He's like, this is gonna go wrong. I'm going off to the side of the road. Oh, wow. Not even, not even. Dude, just let, wow. Bro, are you a fortune teller? Like, oh my God, he just left space in front. He's like, I think that this could go wrong. Hold on, do a little bit of math about the collision, the elastic, inelastic physics collision, kinetic energy, directionality, professional pool, but it's cars, analysis. He will approximately, if hit, end up in this trajectory. If I leave this particular gap here, the car should go nicely into it and I will come out unharmed. This should be like some kind of, I don't know, a prime time crime show about someone who's, who can calculate things like this. It probably already has been made and existed and canceled or something like that, but well done. 88 miles per hour, Marty. Huh, it's, it's just going. And the, <laughs> meanwhile, the truck's like, I mean, I have places to be. I've got garbage to pick up, so I have no time to stop for a garbage fire. Uh, I don't pick up garbage that's on fire. Only, only garbage is not on fire. This isn't part of my, <laughs> my work description. Two idiots, 15 days apart. Is, is it just, maybe, I feel like if the same thing happens over and over, maybe you need a redesign? No, no, I'm just gonna, okie dokie, all right. And they're just, they're just gonna go, right? They're gonna pretend that nothing happened and just be like, I'm gonna leave now. Oh, okay. And again, the, this poor person in the blue car. It's like, how? How, how, does, this, how, how does this even happen? Wait, okay, at least they're stop. Are they gonna stop or are they just gonna be like, hmm, should I stop? Nah, I'm just gonna go. They'll never know it was me. It's not like they have cameras anywhere out here. This person though. Definitely didn't stop. Person in this car, they do this regularly, and so far they have yet to get caught, so they're like, eh, haven't gotten in trouble before. Nothing different, just a usual Tuesday. Left three, Titans over crest, don't cut. Are we are we in a rally car race here? Is it is it actually gonna be a rally car race? Nope, no, it's not gonna be a rally car, okay. <laughs> Everybody doing that corner. Every, even the person after it cuts the corner. It's actually kind of like a video like this that was the reason why I started getting dash cams in the first place. Because then the person gets out and they're like, you just hit me. It's like, what are you talking about? You ran right into me. I was stopped at a stop sign, you absolute poo. The hero we need, but don't deserve. Passing lane, slow lane, blinker, blinker. People, people don't use their blinkers enough. I asked my mom to use her blinker the other day. Um, it was the first time I'd been in the car with my mom. Being in the car with my mom, it usually ends in arguments. Like I was, I was saying the other day, like please don't cut corners, because um, you're going to a family lunch. And uh, then I was also like, do you mind using your blinkers? And then it's just, it devolves into argument because <laughs> it's just so bad. I'm like, I'm not trying to start an argument. I'm just asking if you can do things that aren't gonna get us into an accident, that's all. If you're not watching this, mom, this is probably gonna go poorly. This is a mistake. Waze, turn left now. That's, it's always my favorite 
when someone like doesn't really know where they're going and ob okay. Oh, that's real not good. Oh, you don't want that. You don't want the power lines. That's ri that's a bad that's bad stuff. That can those people even get out of their car? I feel like if you're not currently in a situation of being electrocuted, like you just can't get out of your car at that point. You kind of just have to stay in there and hope for the best until emergency services arrive because you don't want to mess with that stuff. Mm -mm. Not and there was the dog again. <laughs> We got the eye bleach after every post here. Thank goodness. It always switches to auto playing like every week or so. It just wants to feed me new content. Lucky woman with the baby in her arms. Mm, I do okay. I I didn't see that one coming. I did not expect that is not what I expect. How did that happen? Like the truck was just going. God, that woman outran like a tsunami right there. The truck was just going, and then all of a sudden it was just like, we're going to be going in another direction now. <sighs> good lord. How does it go wrong so quickly like that? I don't understand. It's a good thing that car was so... Co See, the, co the way that car turning right was going, I was like, oh, they're just going to creep out really slowly and it, right in front of someone. Nope, nope. Good thing you were going slowly. Otherwise, you would have been inside that truck. My friend's car got hit, so they looked at the security footage and... Uh... What? Okay, I'm... I'm... What? What are they... What are they doing? What are, what are, what are they trying to accomplish? Are they trying to back out of the parking space? What are, what are they doing? What's the goal? Ah, what are they trying to accomplish? I'm so confused. Are they trying to parallel park in the three spaces? But what? I don't, I'm just... What, what's the goal? What's the goal? What were you trying to do? You, you were parked in the... You parked in the... This is why I park as far away from everybody else as possible. Because this exists. What's it? So they've already hit the car. And now they're, they're going to hit it again. Where are you trying? Why didn't you just bow? I can't. No, I can't. I can't ask why they didn't do the logical thing. There's a passenger. There's a passenger in the car. Why is there a passenger? It's not even done. It's just ended and they're still stuck. What has the passenger gone to do? Have they just decided, I can't take this anymore, I'm leaving? At least do everybody else the favor of being like, let me get you out of here so that you can then go obviously demonetize someone 10 seconds later when you enter the roadway. People exist like this, and I have to coexist in a world with them. Why? Why do you were just, you were backing out in the beginning already just fine and then you were just like, no, I'm not gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do it a different way that doesn't make any sense. What would you do if you were parked and you had cars on either side of you? What would you do in that situation? Like, would your brain just explode before you even had a chance to open your door? Don't tailgate a school bus when your car is shaped like a doorstop. It's almost like they were designed to fit together that way. <laughs> Okay, here's, here's the thing about this. A school bus takes longer to stop than you do. I guess the only way this happens is if you're distracted by your phone or something like that, or toggling the radio or whatever, because I'm sorry, a Corvette stops faster than a school bus. This stops faster. Idiot and potential future demonetizer. Oh, it's gonna be someone completely over the double yellow on a windy road, right? Right, as is about to happen to come around the corner wrong side of the road or they're gonna pass i'm not sure which you're gonna pass on a blind crest it's one of the two the one of the two mm, god the suspense is absolutely destroying me here what's i don't know which side i don't know if it's coming oh oh what oh god what 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 <sighs> <sighs> did that truck just attempt to pass a car and a truck around a corner over a no passing zone? 
bro, I hope you somehow got, I hope someone there got like a, a plates and a, a number to call so that they could be reported and fired and you had the dash cam footage like, oh my God, dude, you should not be, you should not have that job. Trucker driving a truck illegal for residential streets in NYC creates chaos and destruction in Queens. It's, it's going to be like a gigantic 18-wheeler on a very, very small street, I'm assuming. Already sideswiped that car, yeah. Oh, oh, about to just do it. Dokey, dokey, just going to keep on going. Oh my god, how many times has he hit this car? Jesus Christ. I know I've shared the anecdote of the gigantic car transporting 18-wheeler that I one time had to pull to the side of the road as it was trying to get up this absolutely minute, minuscule, narrow, windy road. And to this day, I still have no, it was literally, it was a truck this big and way worse street than this. This street is at least a straight shot. Okay. <laughs> it's straight, it's a straight shot at least. I still to this day don't know how that truck that I saw I had to pull way over to the side of the road and hope it didn't sideswipe me. I don't know how it got out. I honestly, it's like some magical witchcraft that it ever got removed. I don't know if they had to airlift it like with multiple helicopters, but I have no idea what happened to it. Anyway, um, I guess good job here. <laughs> hey. I feel for the truck drivers sometimes, but because it, it might... The fact that he got there might not be his fault. He might have been given instructions, go here, and he had no idea he was just following instructions. But when you get to that point where you're stuck, probably don't like keep going back and forth and just ramming into things. That's probably not the solution. But I like I the, the guy who drove that 18 wheeler up up the hill. Um, I, I just felt badly for him. Like it's probably not his fault. He had no idea. He's just like, oh well, I'm too far gone now. Now this sucks. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's that's a bummer, and that's it for the last month of uh, Idiots and Cars. I hope you've enjoyed and learned to be a better driver from this, or can anticipate the signs from other people who might be bad drivers. Uh, like if you liked, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and playlist in the description if you want to catch more of these. I'll see you next time.